Slacklining is one of those sports that you know everybody can get into because the first time you try it, you know you have a little bit of success. It's really hard, but um, you know you're addicted. You're hooked right away, and that was the same way it was for me. It's fun. I've spent most of my life trying to conquer fear. I have this obsession with taking things that are scary and and trying to do them. So um, the guys were like, "Well, hey, you know, I know you're new to this slacklining thing. You want to try this highline?" And I was like, "Well, am I harnessed in? Like, am I safe?" And they're like, "Yep, yeah, you're harnessed in. You might take a few like." yanks on the rope but you're, you're all good so I was like sure I'll try it and one of the hardest things I've ever tried in my whole life so just the fact of being able to stand up there and actually getting back on the slack line after you've fallen off on the on the harness is one of the hardest things I've ever done but um, yeah it was a huge sense of accomplishment you know I, I've done a lot of things in my life but uh, I love that fact I love that when I have something that totally challenges me something totally new it's a little bit of everything you get core strength you get balance you get agility um, for me, my sport's all about reaction time. You know, I'm, I'm not, none of the runs, even if they look perfect, none of the runs I'm doing are perfect. I'm just reacting really quickly to the small mistakes that I make. And you watch the best black liners in the world, they're the same way. They'll land a little bit off, but they just have so much body control, muscle control, that they'll make these landings look like they're nothing. And that's kind of kind of what I'm trying to do in my sport. So, uh, yeah, a little cross training. The fact that I can uh, improve my skills so much while at the same time enjoying myself, that's what I live for.